Hey loves, so I just wanted to make a quick video to touch on what we did today in orientation. Today was our last day of orientation and um, we've had a, quite a few things that we had to cover. We got our syllabus, um, we got a calendar with our, the dates that everything was due and there is a lot of stuff. One of our syllabus is, um, yeah, we have two. One is 52 pages, the other one is 49 pages. So they didn't print anything out, we had to bring in flash drives to download everything because there was so much stuff. We also got to meet with some of the senior students, which was actually really nice. Um, we were able to ask some questions. Um, we asked, like, you know, what are their study tips? Uh, how do they um, organize their binder? Uh, what should you bring to clinical? All that stuff. So I'm just going to touch on a little bit of everything. Um, so first, let me start with what I wore. So I wore this shirt, um, earrings, a pair of jeans, um, like skinny leg jeans, and then a simple pair of flats. And I kept it really simple. And again, I brought a cardigan just to wear while it was cold because it was cold in there again. Then we received our syllabus um, and nursing diagnosis, uh, calendars. So then we met with the older students and one of the things I saw older students was like, you know, what worked for you guys for studying? And what one mentioned is that she actually didn't take any notes, she's a reader and that's just for a learning style. Our school really focuses on knowing your learning style and using that to your advantage. So the one girl, she only reads and that just what works for her. But what she did say is like, don't have too many resources. Don't go out and buy a bunch of books and you're always constantly looking to separate things because it kind of makes it hard to focus because you're constantly looking for something else to reinforce it. To really focus on the book, um, at least in our case, because that's where our teachers are really focusing on. And then maybe have one or two tops for resources. But one book they did mention that was really good is, at least for them, was Fundamentals of Success. They said that it really helped them to prepare for the exam and that we should read the um, book before we actually go into the exam because our exams are actually structured pretty similar to that book. So it help us out a lot. Another girl, um, who I think her learning style is somewhat similar to mine, that she set up a binder and put uh, dividers into it. So she sectioned off each exam and then um, what she would do after she would do an exam, she would put all the key points into one of those composition books for each exam. So by the time the final came around, she had all her really important points that she thought you would definitely need to know. And like as far as nursing diagnosis, interventions, goals, signs and symptoms, everything, all into that book. So then when she had to do her final, she wasn't going back to all of her other notes. She was just looking at one composition book that had everything. So it helped her save a lot of time. Also, what did she mention? Oh, she said, always read before you go to class. Be well prepared. And then if you do that, she mentioned that what she does is she highlights her own reading in one color. And then when she goes into class, as the teacher talks, she highlights in another color. And then she goes home and then she formulates notes based off of what the teachers highlighted to see if what they said was important versus what she thought was important. So that helps to cut down a little bit so you're not, you know, you're not being redundant or you're not wasting your time in other parts where they really don't find to be that important. So that's one tip I'm definitely going to use. What else did they mention? Um, for clinical, as they said, you know, learn how to be assertive. You're going to have to talk to nurses, doctors, patients, and you really need to get comfortable with speaking to people. So they said in orientation, you know, make friends, go up to people, talk to them. So that way you can start to feel a little bit more comfortable when you go into your clinical setting. They said bring comfortable shoes because you will be on your feet all day. Uh, one of them mentioned that she wears Skechers. I don't know. I just use dance goes. Uh, that's what I've been using the OR and they're pretty, they work pretty well for me. A good breakfast before you go. Not just, you know, a bowl of cereal, but you need something with proteins, carbs, something that's actually going to hold you over. So they, a lot of them recommend an oatmeal, eggs, uh, maybe a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with milk. Something that's really going to hold you over because you don't want to go in and you're tired or you're hungry and you can't focus and then you see something that you may not be used to, like a wound changing, and get sick, you know, because that doesn't look very professional. You want to stay on your toes and you want to, you know, look good. And, what else? Oh, so, based off of what the teachers are saying, they're saying that, you know, it would be good to have a binder for um, each subject that we're doing. So, I went out and got two more binders. I have one now for my class, which is a really big binder. Then I got one for my clinical, and then I got one for my lab. Because we are getting a lot of papers, I want to make sure that I'm not mixing anything with one class to another and it will make it a little bit easier for me when I need to go back and find resources if I have own section by class. 
and I organized my um, orientation binder. Here's my orientation binder. As you guys can see that I've actually um, put tabs here. So this one just says orientation. Next one is certification. So my uh, CPR card, my HIPAA training, um, anything that I have to take that I need to be certified in, I'm going to I always keep an extra copy here. That way if there's ever any issues I say, oh, we don't have something or the hospital needs it, I have it right here in this binder to pull it out. Then I have immunization, so my blood test, uh, TB test, um, anything that we have to get shots, hep B, all my vaccines, everything is in here. Well, at least a copy is. That way, again, if, they, if I ever need it, it's right in here. I also have my receipts that I spoke about in my first video. So all my receipts for uh, school supplies, uniforms, books, are all going in here. So then come tax time, when I need to find everything and I need to actually put it onto my taxes, I have everything here. So it makes it easier for me to gather. And then the last thing is the degree audit. So because I actually have my bachelor's already, a lot of my uh, credits actually transferred over. So I'm coming in and I don't have to take any prereqs. I'm only taking nursing classes. So in order to make sure I keep track of everything, I have a degree audit form so that it shows everything that they transferred over. That way, in case there's ever any issues, I can prove to them that you know this was transferred over, you guys accepted it, and here it is. So I think it's a good way to stay um, prepared and you know, you're know you ready in case there's ever any issues. So if there's any questions that you guys may have for me, please feel free to ask. Um, and remember, start sending in your questions because I'm gonna do Ask a Nurse segment soon. So ask your questions so that I can go around and ask my friends and then ask some of the nurse instructors what they think and I can give you guys a good answer, okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye.